Hey guys, Dynamite six four seven, and in this video we will do uh, we're gonna do a wiper blade replacement, or actually the wiper blade insert. The blades are okay, but as you can see, the insert has to be replaced. So the insert can be purchased uh, from most stores. They come at about ten to thirteen bucks. Some might be cheaper. So the first thing to do is to remove the wiper blade from the arm itself and uh, this is a pretty simple process on the Toyota Corolla. So all you need to do is pull this tab, alright, and then this thing. So you can, so what you do is you pull the tab, you slide it in and it's got a hook here. So if I were to stand it up like that, come out, there you go, and that's the hook. So now we got the wiper, the old insert is here, the new one is here, so we're gonna remove this and it comes at a, as an entire piece. Alright, so what we're gonna do is remove the insert and the way to do it is, is just pull it out. So I'll now show you how to put the structural member in. This is the OEM one. So all you do is just align it with the top portion. That's like the stopper here. This is the out, outside portion. This is the portion that goes in towards the car. And you just... So both the insert, uh, the structural members are in now, as you can see, right here, and they only go one way, so you cannot get it wrong. So now we're gonna attach it to the battery blade itself. And the same thing for the driver side, as you can see, this is the portion that is on the outside. So we're gonna remove this. So remove the insert, just pull it out. Here's the original wiper. So here's the original one. We're gonna remove the structural elements. One important thing to note when uh, you guys are replacing the insert is this is a wrong example so I did it on purpose to show you so you see how the structural member is actually going in the opposite direction of the wiper blade itself the wiper would want to the side arms they want to stretch on the towards the windshield so it can sit firmly so this is the correct way to do it as you can see these side arms are now broken in towards the windshield and this means that the insert will stick to the windshield really well all right so the, let's find out if everything works good oh yeah much better than before anyways thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next video